Good morning everyone. It is 10am and Nico is getting gelded today. So it's currently snowing like mad so we thought we'd have to postpone it. But the, we phoned the vet this morning and he said it's all okay to do. We'll probably do it in the stable just undercover because we were planning on doing it um, on the grass. And he's so small he has to be turned upside down onto his back. So he needs a soft surface to be on. But um, yeah, we can do it in the stable now, which is good. So Nico is coming up to eight months old now. And he's seriously well behaved as a colt. But there's just no need to keep him as one well when he's not registered in any way because he's a crossbreed and we're not breeding him. Um, Safi is also not going to be bred from. So yeah, there's just no point making his life miserable when um, he can be a happy gelding and live out with any horse he wants. So this morning I just have to muck out, make sure his stable's really clean and then we're ready to go at 11 a.m. for the vet. Now I'm going to film his gelding and I'm going to blur out anything that's super nasty but it's for educational purposes and I'll talk you through it. So just a warning, I will warn you if there's anything disgusting coming up before it plays so you can skip it if you want to. But yeah, I thought it would be interesting for you all to watch your gelding if you've never seen it before. So I'll see you later. <laughs> Nico has just had his general anaesthetic and because he's so tiny it kicked in very very quickly and the vet student is just helping me keep him upright whilst he's going down but he went down pretty quickly as you saw but he's all right he didn't hit hard she had her knee underneath him we then moved him upside down against the stable and the vet himself shaved off any hair down to the skin Then the vet injected lidocaine into the scrotum to make sure Nico will feel absolutely nothing, even when under general anaesthetic. And the vet students came in and cleaned the area up with hippie scrub and poured surgical spirits over the area as well, whilst also dodging Safi's biting, of course. The vet made the first incision over the scrotum and pulled out the testicle. And here you can see the clamps which are known as the emasculators and they are clamped down over the spermatic cord. So this basically is a cut and clamp device. So it will clamp down on the blood vessels and arteries to stop them from bleeding whilst also cutting through the cord itself. This is left on for a few minutes to prevent any bleeding. Then these forceps are used to help the vet grip onto the testicle and then they can twist it off. And the twisting helps to, again, stop any blood vessels from bleeding as it clamps down on them. And that is Safi trying to help as normal. Once the testicle is removed, the clamps can be removed and as you can see there is zero bleeding, just the tissue left behind and it's a lovely clean castration.
and then the entire procedure is repeated on the other side of course. So I'll let you watch this one in peace and I'll stop talking now. Once the procedure was fully finished, Nico was rolled back over onto his side and then we just had to wait for the general anaesthetic to reverse and the vet gave him a antibiotic shot just to make sure he was going to be okay because the wound is left open basically and it will drain over the next two weeks. About an hour later, Nico was up and happy and eating already and he has had an amazing recovery basically he was up playing within the hour it was really impressive to see hi everyone it is now about five o'clock in the afternoon i'm just feeding the babies and putting them to bed um nico's gelding went really really well as you've seen and he's just putting his food all over me at the moment <laughs> And yeah, he's up and running, he's happy. A little bit stiff, obviously, because he's sore. But other than that, he's, um, yeah, he's doing good. You good boy. So yeah, as long as um, surgery went really well, so hopefully the rest of his recovery will be as good as the surgery went. And I'll keep you updated. He's got to have antibiotics and painkillers for the next four or five days. So I'm going to give him them now and I'll show you that. So the first one we have is his painkiller and it just goes in like a wormer, which he's very good at. And then we have his antibiotics, which is just um, the same amount again. Good boy. Good boy. So that's him all done for tonight, they are all fed, he's lapping up the rest of his food to get the taste out of his mouth of the antibiotics but yeah he's absolutely wonderful to deal with, so easy to do. We have to fight with the others don't we, to get those tubes in their mouth because the tubes are made for full size horses 
So trying to get those into a mouth that is that small is not easy. But yeah, he's good as gold, so yeah. So the little guy is definitely very tired now and he's gone to have a little rest but hopefully he'll be good and up and running tomorrow and have a nice little play hey Safi she's been very nice to him today which is good because she can be really awful to be honest so yeah let's see if he wants his night night treat Nico come get your night night treat oh he can't resist has to have his night night treat good boy Good, and you, demon spawn. She loves these, good girl. No, no, babies. Hey, my little baby boy. This video of the babies playing was taken the day after Nico was first gelded. So as you can see, he honestly could not care less. You would never know he's had a surgical procedure. And yeah, he's happy as Larry and same old playful little thing, except he's no longer a colt. He is now my little gelding. So it will take two weeks for a full recovery of the wound, but it takes a few months for the hormones to completely settle down but we've already noticed a difference in him a week on where he is no longer trying to mount Safi and he's just yeah his same old easy self the wound looks great no bleeding could not be happier with my decision to geld him and yeah I'll keep you updated on how he does thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something today watching my little video of nico getting gelded if you'd like to see more of what we get up to in between videos don't forget to check out my social media accounts which were all linked below so thank you